Hello, my name's Kate and I work in this building behind me. Hopefully you'll recognise it. It's 18 High Street Bedworth, better known as Bedworth Library. Right, shall we head on inside and have a look around? As you enter Bedworth Library, the adult fiction books and some of the computers are on the left hand side. On the right, we have our spoken word section, adult non-fiction or information books and large print books. The shelves have headers on them to help you see what's in each section. And at the back is the junior library of course. All our chapter books, picture books and junior information books are in this area. Information books also include poetry, joke and subject books. If you're looking for an information book, you'll notice the numbers on the spine. They are organised by the Dewey system. To help you find what you're looking for, we have some guides on the wall. You can check the catalogue or you can always ask a member of staff for help. If I was looking for a book about cars, I'd find the number on this list. And then look at the numbers to find the correct topic. Fiction books are sorted alphabetically by the author's last name. That's the same for both adult and junior books. Have you ever requested a book? One of the ways to do this is on our website. Search for the author, subject or title of a book, click request and enter your library card and PIN number. We can send your book to your nearest Warwickshire library. Every day, a list of these requests come through to us with all the books that need to be sent to other libraries. We'll head to the shelves and pick the books from the list. Our computer system tells us which library they need to go to and then we'll put them in the delivery area ready to be collected. Neil collects our books to be taken to other libraries and delivers the ones for Bedworth too. He also brings these red boxes which are very exciting because they are full of new books. When the delivery arrives, we scan all the books through the computer, which gives us the details of the customer who has ordered it. This generates an automated email or phone call to let them know their book has arrived at Bedworth Library. The books go out into the library, sorted on this shelf by your surname, ready for you to collect. And here's how you collect them. Bring your library card and use the RFID machine to check out your book and take it home. I really hope you enjoyed the tour. It would be lovely to see you soon, whether that's to borrow books for the summer reading challenge or something to help you with your homework. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to our quiz now and hopefully you'll recognise some of the staff that have got involved. Good luck. Hello, my name's Claire. At home, I've got a cat called Daphne. Right, which famous author created the following characters? Danny, Mr. Fox, Mr. Twit, Miss Trunchbull, and the Grand High Witch. That's right, Roald Dahl. Hello, my name's Eleanor. I named the Bedworth Library teddy bears. This is Nicholas. And Nicholas's question is, what series of picture books started with a little boy asking his daddy, what does a tickle look like? And the answer is... The Mr. Ben, Mr. Tickle. Hello, I'm Katie, and my favourite animal is an elephant. My question for you today is, what book series first began with the terrible Tudors and the awful Egyptians. That's right, horrible histories. Hello, my name's Lisa and I work at Bedworth Library. I'm a beekeeper. I've got a question for you. Who is left completely flattened when a pin board accidentally falls on him? That's right, Flat Stanley. 
written by Jeff Brown. Hello, my name is Louise and I love chocolate. At the moment, my favourite chocolate bar is a Yorkie. Anyway, do you know what these authors are most famous for writing? Hans Christian Andersen and the Brothers Grimm. Yeah, that's right. Fairy tales. Well done. Hello, my name's Kate. And when I was at school, I was absolutely rubbish at sport and I would always come last, especially at cross country where I would walk in and hate it. But since then, I've run 10 marathons and I've even cycled across the country. So it just shows with a bit of hard work and determination, you can achieve more than you think you can. Okay, so for my question, what is the Gruffalo scared of? And the answer is a mouse. Hello, my name's Sean and I'm from Bedworth Library. I've got lots of hobbies and interests, but my main one is astronomy. So if when we're open you need to know anything, just come in and see me and I'll see if I can answer the questions for you. My question for you today is, which book stars a girl called Stella Saxby who inherits a humongous mansion? It's The Awful Auntie by David Walliams.